Yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. I did eventually get in contact with a human, and they said sorry. Too bad. I don't know. And then the next month, it magically went back to how it was. I did, but they're not going to admit fault and be like, you know what, our detection system did mess up. Hey, advertisers, we're not very good at detecting whether real people are watching your ads or whether it's a bot, so, uh, sorry about that. They're going to be like, no, our system is perfect. James Summerton guy's a real piece of doo-doo. How his video was plagiarized. Well, he did use the people he was talking about content, but it was just to point out how lazy... Oh, the heck. Made me feel way better about my videos. Like, I'm like, I don't feel like I'm the best writer, you know? Like, I was never good at it in school. At least I'm writing it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's how it was for me, suspiciously specific. I'd never even heard of him till that plagiarism video. if I need to do this, but I don't want to need to do it, and then I didn't, and then I'm screwed. I just watched that yesterday, Slime McAwesome. I'd never heard of Tommy Tallarico. And there was a comment from a few days ago that somebody posted. They were like, hey, here's a follow-up since this video's about a year old now. Apparently... Tommy Tallarico has gone completely radio silent, like, has not said a single word, post, interview, tweet, nothing, since that video came out. <laughs> like, well, the video did its job. But you don't treat it as a video, you treat it as a podcast. You don't even need to see the screen to watch, really. Is this streamer a super expert today? Yes. Apparently the big drama now is that he pointed out that the internet historian plagiarized his video and his fans are just not accepting it. God, oh he didn't. Blah blah. Pretty funny to see. I don't think you even watched the video. Yeah, he did a lot of 
Like, all the animation stuff he did for it is definitely original. I think he mentioned it, he should have just asked, Hey, we'd like to adapt your article about the man in the cave into a... ...video, like, blah blah. Story about a man in a cave. It's this guy who got trapped in a... ...cave back in, like, the 20s or something. A very popular YouTube channel called Internet Historian made a video about it. Just telling the story of it, except the story he told was word for word this gigantic article that somebody had previously done on it. Sounds like you don't like the person, Magic Gimp, and you're just gonna use that to be like, well, this video sucks, because I don't like that guy. Yeah, it's a really good video, like... Um... Yeah, basically anybody who's putting out that level of content that frequently, like... I would now be suspicious. I know how long it takes me to make one of my videos, and putting out one a week takes way too much effort. I'm just writing about a video game I played, not... Science or something. or like power tools. Yeah, that really stinks, Deflex.
I saw that that Luke Stevens guy put out a post about the video and he just owned up to it and he said he was 19 years old back then. I was like... Fair enough. I used to boost nukes in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, the video has about an hour and a half of just showing examples of people plagiarizing content, but the video's mainly about a YouTuber named James Somerton who plagiarized like 40 plus LGBTQ authors. He was a the biggest content creator talking about LGBTQ issues on YouTube and he's just making like I don't know 20,000 plus a month he'd like been called out for it multiple times and I don't know how to do this by the way maybe that Ah, it's so tight. Oh my god, okay. Okay, these are old B switches. Game's weird. Yes. Oh. I think I know how to do this, right? That's right, Dovid. I don't know if that, if there was a tech on that first jump. The rest was so easy. <laughs> Lido! Except not, because this game doesn't stink. You can still do the slow swim tech in. I'm annoyed that there's only one swim button in Mario Wonder. Because you can do this, like, slow swim tech in it, but you can't swim with the other buttons, so it's like mostly useless. Oh my god, pixel perfect! Can he do it? No way! Can I get the double? Oh my god, but what about the triple? The triple Lido. There's no way! How is he so good? Okay, this is actually a bit sketchy. <laughs> Chad, have any of you been watching Carl play Dark Souls? It's pretty amazing. He's like going magic, and he's just annihilating everything, and chat's getting really mad. <laughs> I've never seen magic in that game. But he, he killed the gargoyle boss in three hits. <laughs> and chat's getting so mad, they're like, you're not playing the game right! Bone cave. This is supposed to be hard. Whoa. 
Whoa! What is this? Also, I just did that Quake 64 video, and I'm starting to think people who put dev blocks are influenced by old FPS games. Because they're like, oh, you found a secret, and in the secret is like full health, full body armor, quad damage. It's like, wow, this level's suddenly very easy. <laughs> I found the hidden stuff, and now well, it was very frustrating and suddenly extremely easy. That was weird. Uh, that's after two weeks from now. I don't think that's possible as Big Mario. I didn't remember getting wrecked by Quake as bad as I did. I died a lot in that playthrough. Yeah, they did make Quake 2, and it's a lot better. It's probably even better on PC, but... It's definitely a superior game. I was thinking, like, Quake's pretty much dead now, right? Like, I think there's still, like, competitive Quake, maybe, but not, like, new Quake games. They should revive Quake like they did Doom. Yeah, but isn't Quake Champions just a PvP game? I mean, like a campaign single-player Quake game. Kind of like Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Cause people like those, right? Like, I think people think those are good games. Then they could revive Daikatana as well. Yeah, but I don't mean revive it as a how it used to be. I mean rework the whole game, like, the new Doom games, like, they're not like the old ones at all, right? New P-Switches, no. What do I do? Oh shoot, infinite fire flower, Bowser fire. Did they, they changed that attack in Maker 2, I think. I, I think they changed Bowser. I didn't even consider that. 
Alright. You'd kill for that? I'm just gonna contact the FBI real quick. Alright, we did win the 100 man run. I did a mod start a prediction? Chat, the mods are taking over. Oh. But, will I win the 100 man run? 1.32, 1 1.05, 0.72, 0.69, 3.7, 0.16.